Hello Sonic's Fake Channel. As you can tell by this video, this is going to be a how to use wine bottler. I know you've been asking me for this, so here it is. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so if you want to do wine bottler, you got to click wine first, and then it'll load and it'll bring this up in, and it'll say wine bottler combo over there. Then you click on wine bottler, and then um, this you can just eject. Oh, sorry. Well, you can't eject it when it's using it. When you're done using it, you can eject it. Now that we're on wine bottler, you can just you can either close this out or minimize it, which I'm just going to minimize it. And I'm going to minimize this as well. And then once you're on wine bottler, it shows uh, the logo up here, a wine logo. And if you want to quit, you can press quit wine, or you can just figure out how to use this thing, or, or look at the controls options in this. And... If you want to play a game, you can click either trash or that folder and then click download. And I'm gonna show and I'm gonna and I'm gonna show you Five Nights at Smudgers 2. Now, if now I did make a video I did make videos on Five Nights at Smudgers 2. I beat all the nights, including night six. So if you want to watch it, feel free to. Alright, so now we're on Five Nights at Smudgers 2. And it has loaded already, and you can click new game or continue, whatever night you're on. Since I completed the whole game, we're going to click new game. And I'm going to get you in the... And if you want to play this, you can just click next. And this is night one. This will be kind of like a tutorial. This is going to be kind of like a little tour. <sighs> Excuse me. So anyways, if you want to play this game, you can just watch the cameras. You can just watch the cameras if you want to play this game, and there's a phone call as well. Your new job at Bertram Station. Your job is to watch the cameras. If you're wondering, Five Nights Smudgers 2 is made by Big sure Trevi, and he's the phone guy in this game. I'm gonna leave you a message every night because there are some. If you want to touch the post, you can. Now all these trains have been upgraded <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Whenever I can touch the nose, makes me happy. Money upgrading them than the actual building. Let's go look through the hallways. Crazy, right? And then this is the lawn. Well, they fit the train with a new advanced transport. That's for the. That's the lawn. We need to refill. Diesel. And that will be a slight problem here. The two steam engines in the main shed, then you the, one this. Proteus, the one on the left, and Bertram, the one on the right, came from a previous railway named Smudges Railway. Now over there, we had a night watch there. We thought it was simply just watching the cameras to make sure everything was all right. But for some reason, them trains moved about at night, and they tried to get into his office and hurt him. Maybe a bit more than hurt him, but we really don't know why. So if you see in your office, there is a diesel generator. What this is used for is if Proteus or Bertram enter into one of the doors at your office, it will take them a few seconds to recognize if you're a person. Is if you it? quickly spray the diesel fumes at them by clicking the diesel button, they will think you're a diesel train and leave the office. And then you can refill the diesel by clicking the refill button. But make sure you spray it quickly because you will only have a small opportunity to react. And also try to keep the diesel full as much as possible because it so goes down with it. I'm kind of giving you like a tutorial field. on how to do this game. Also, if you see, there is an alarm button. That I'll explain tomorrow because it is really important this night. Um, the cameras? Also, there's power breakers in cameras 11 and 13. I'll explain them in another night this as well. Just so, the yeah, power I'll to it. Just do what I said and you'll be And then fine. you can lock both talk. power breakers. Alright, right, so this is kind of like a how-to. Or a uh, tutorial. Alright. So if if you want to quit this game, you can just press escape, and I just quit the game, okay? And then if you want to quit wine, you can just, um, you just got to close out of these two. Um, and then if you want to download this game, you can just download it off a website, a wine bottle website or something. And then this is to quit wine. And then, and that's it. So... I hope this video was helpful to you. And then this you can eject when you're done. Oh, sorry. And, well, yeah. So so that's about it. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Um, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you for watching. Bye.